And the diplomatic spat between Turkey and Israel has shown no signs of easing, with Israel's Torah minister today calling on his countrymen to boycott Turkey as a vacation destination and a demonstration planned for Friday in Istanbul to protest the Israeli military's actions in Gaza. But is this discord leading to a complete breach of relations just two years after the countries signed a reconciliation deal that ended six years of that diplomatic freeze? Right, and when you're talking about the diplomatic freeze, reconciliation, there were years of a complete freeze, then a much touted reconciliation deal uh, not long ago, and a lot is at stake, economic and trade ties on top of it. Right, so let's go now to Istanbul and speak with uh, Turkey analyst Yusuf Aram. And Yusuf, what is the mood there in Turkey right now toward Israel among the public and the leadership? Well, the mood in Turkey right now towards Israel is uh, one of animosity at the moment. I mean, the Turkish people, uh, whether it's their supporters of the governing AK Party, whether they're supporters of the Nationalist Party, whether they're supporters of the major opposition center-left party, uh, everyone sees eye to eye here, and they're not happy with the way Palestinians are being treated. They're not happy with the way Israel is handling the Gaza issue at the moment. So there is a lot of animosity towards Israel, and there's a lot of support for Palestinians right now. Yusuf, uh, over the last couple of days after uh, those 62 Palestinians were killed, there were some sort of twist to the story with Hamas senior official coming out and saying 50 of those 62 were members of Hamas. Is that something that is uh, being reported on or de being discussed as part of the conversation there in Turkey? Uh, I've read reports. I've read media reports about the 53 of the members being uh, Hamas and from, I believe, a, another group. Uh, it is being discussed, but Hamas is seen as a resistance movement over here, a freedom movement over here. So uh, it's not really a big issue in the Turkish media at the moment. Yusuf, you have an election coming up. President Erdogan, a frequent critic of Israel, of course. But could uh, those elections be influencing him to sort of ramp up the volume to speak to his base? Well, when we look at President Erdogan's previous reactions to uh, the Gaza issue and Israel's treatment of Palestinians, uh, we see back in 2009 at the Davos World Economic Forum when uh, he had an argument with uh, then-President Shimon Peres. Uh, we've seen in the past Erdogan have spats with uh, Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu over this. So I don't think... I don't believe this is something that President Erdogan's using as uh, fuel for the election. Uh, you have to realize, while well, President Erdogan's going to be attending the uh, Organization of Islamic Cooperation meeting tomorrow, uh, many of his counterparts are going to be campaigning. So uh, President Erdogan could be spending this time campaigning and drumming up support, but he's spending this time as the mo most popular and probably the most powerful leader of the Muslim world defending the rights of Palestinians, who he feels, and the majority of Turkish people feel, are oppressed. How far is Erdogan willing to take this? Because we heard today from Israeli officials reactions to his comments, but also saying we're not going to blow up the relationship over this. Do you think Erdogan is really willing to end the Israel relationship again? If President Erdogan wanted to end the relationship with Israel. Uh, Tuesday night, there was a proposal made by the major opposition uh, at Turkish parliament. It was to uh, cancel all agreements made with Israel. Uh, the proposal was rejected with the governing AK party votes. Uh, if he wanted to end complete ties, that proposal would have passed that night. So uh, despite his anger towards uh, uh, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, uh, President Erdogan is still hoping that some way diplomatically this problem could be solved. He does, at the moment, he doesn't want to completely end all ties, at least in my view, he doesn't. All right, Yusuf Aram uh, in Istanbul, analyst at TRT World.